Greetings guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monat and this is my channel Evolve with Monat. I'm so happy to share some energy with you today. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional intuitive empath and today I had a quick downloaded message for you about this will be my year. My angels wanted me to talk to you guys about this today. They did a funny thing. It's technically my day off, but, and I've been really trying to be better about taking time off and creating a day where I do nothing because in the line of work that I'm in, I'm always doing something. <laughs> if I'm dealing with a situation with clients or if I am dealing with my own situations or I'm helping someone else, a friend, a loved one through a situation, I kind of plug into my gift. And a lot of empaths watching, I'm sure you guys can relate to that level of involvement. But in order to be balanced and healthy, it is so important to create space for yourself. There's something magical that happens in the space for yourself. The reason that the ancients and the wise ones and the yogis, the ascended masters, the practitioners, the shamans, the high priestesses, the reason that we are all advised to take quiet time is to generate new ideas. There is something sexy, yes, sexy about time alone. There's something grown and sexy about knowing that you need that time alone. Now, I don't think that's why the yogis are meditating, but that's the way that my angels had to get it to me. They said, if you want more creativity, listening to us guide you is important and creating time to be silent so we can clearly speak with you is important. And so that's what I've done. So they guided me today and they said that uh, they wanted me to come out to my desk. And I said, well, wait a second. I thought I'm not working today. And they said, we have some lessons to teach about one, integrating your work with your play and your pleasure, but also heeding us when we ask. And beyond that, about the space when you're in the right place for things to really blossom and to make sense. So I sat out here and I guess as a Pavlovian response in my office, I realized that uh, there were some things we were going to talk about. They drew my attention, and this is the reason you have to listen when they're talking to you, because there's always a reason. And they drew my attention to this coaster that I have on my desk. This will be my year. I found these a couple years ago, I think at a Tuesday morning, one of my favorite shops. Sorry, guys, I had to take a sip of coffee there. Uh, at a Tuesday morning one of my favorite shops and when I saw them there were a lot of different sayings on them but I bought it because of this I thought these are super cute I don't know if I will use them or if I'll give them as a gift you know one of those items you see but it was a great price and I had to have them they kind of knocked around in my house didn't think much of it but at the beginning of the year my angels drew my attention to this and so you can imagine my excitement as I began the year thinking, this is going to be incredible. This is an omen. This is a positive sign. This will be my year. So they said, put it someplace prominently where you can see it in your office. And then we'll do the rest. Okay. So I set it up. Not like this. <laughs> it's on a bookshelf in my office, but I set it up and didn't think anything of it now we are halfway through the year officially heading into fall i'm kind of manifesting cold energy and winter and pumpkin spice i'm that girl i love it even though i'm a floridian i am that girl when it comes to fall uh and i'm excited about it but i'm excited because i feel so good this will be my year the thing about this is this did not happen in a conventional way 
when they said that this will be my year, I thought it was going to be like the original Queer Eye for the Straight Guy song. All things just keep getting better. That's one of my favorite songs. I'm going to link it below. So if you need a little bit of sunshine in your life and a little bit of 90s like techno, gotcha. House music. <laughs> gotcha. It's amazing. Um, Yes, this is before they were the Fab Five. I mean, they were the Fab Five, the original Fab Five. But that song, I associate it with this. This will be my year. This year has been bittersweet. I now feel like an adult. I really know what the word bittersweet means. Some of the most incredible things in my life, some of the best opportunities have happened in this year. Things have blossomed in this year. They've really grown. And when this energy comes into your life, things are blossoming and growing for you. But in order for us to get to enjoying it, there are things we go through. Now, the thing about it is I'm not saying everything has to be in a successive order. So it's not like first the bad and then the good. The way that they taught me this lesson this year was it was all scrambled up. It was scrambled up. It wasn't neat. It wasn't steps that made sense. It was messy, like scrambled eggs. Yeah, it was that. So that meant that I had to teeter between really, really low lows and really, really high highs. In fact, I would say that this year will be my year, but it's been the most bipolar year <laughs> that I've ever had in my life. And I'm not at all diminishing or making any fun of that mental illness because that mental illness, even though it is not my battle, has been such an integral part of my life. I've loved so many people that are bipolar. Diagnosed, actually, undiagnosed because they won't, but self-medicating and bipolar many multiple people and I think in order for me to truly be an empath my angels wanted me to have empathy after frustration can set in and grow and they said we're going to make your life feel like what they may feel like and how they may feel that's what this year has been for me a lesson in being humble and realizing the plight of others even in the same moment when I was needing to defend myself. This will be my year. This was my year. This has been my year. I mean, it's not over yet. But what I know is there are powerful lessons here about knowing that success is not a straight road and that when things start getting good, it doesn't guarantee that other things in your life will not be bad. This will be my year. And so it's been... As I was driving home from Alabama on a road trip with a friend of mine, she said to me, Monette, this will be your year. I was demolished because of what I understood and what I knew was coming to an end. And she was giving me one of her signature <sighs> Robocop bulldog pep talks i love her for it i never asked her for pep talks we're not the pep talking kind she and i we're more about visceral energy living life and experiencing it as we go but she pep talked me it wasn't a rah-rah it wasn't a pep rally there was no enthusiasm it was melancholy she knew i was in mourning but she pep talked me she gave me what was being downloaded to her from her angels this will be your year monette that's what she told me i could barely breathe i was so devastated and in such a deep state of mourning this will be your year she told me while tears roll down my face quietly this will be your year me staring out of the window not wanting her to know how crushed I was. This will be your year. 
And she spoke into my life in that way. And she told me of the things that would come for me. She spoke prophecy into my life. Get some friends around you that walk in the light and see. I had someone around me that saw. She saw. She was spiritual. She was powerful. But she was in the dark. This will be your year. The friend that was in the light walked me through that and then has proceeded to virtually high-five me every time a new milestone is checked off and every time a new moment is exceeded beyond my wildest dreams. This will be your year. It's something that you need to remind yourself if you are ascending empath. Not every ascension is easy and breezy and beautiful cover girl. <laughs> Not everyone is. In fact, ascension is usually marked with moments of tribulation and trials. And so if you are manifesting for something to be amazing for you, understand there will be manure that you have to push through, but through it you'll get and you'll never forget the lessons that you learned even if they were lessons about getting terribly burned. Push through, because this will be your year. You are guaranteed that a thing is going to be for you, and a year is going to be yours to own, when the things that used to be f so familiar no longer feel like home. This will be your year. And you may say, Monette! How can I forget? How can I release? How can I have peace? How can I walk forward? How can I go through after everything? That I've just been through. And to that, your angels look down and say, You know life is a game. You know games get played. You know players exist. You know things will not always be as they seem. And that's why you have a spirit team. When we say this will be your year, it comes from on high. And that means that haters will never get by with plots and schemes and plans and hacks because your angels and ancestors have your back. That's real talk right there, guys. So when you know that something is coming to fruition for you, staying in prayer is what you should do. And now prayer and meditation, that means quiet time. That means long drives with friends that have been in your life. That means moments that you cry and moments that you share. Every time you put energy into any of those activities, it's your future you bring near. Okay. You are manifesting even through the pain. You're manifesting even though some days it feels like you are being driven insane through gaslighting and devaluation, mm, through mind games and malignant narcs. This is the trajectory of success. This is the arc. This is the place that you have to go if deeper spiritual realities you want to know. You cannot sit back and wait for a gift. You've got to get in and you've got to lift. And that means that sometimes you will push through to get to a life that's better for you. To get to a place where you have truly faced your fears and you never forget the promise that this will be your year. It's your year, empaths. Whenever you see this, it is timeless. It is meant for you to see. You are growing. You are stretching and pushing into the empowered empath. The best that you can be. Do not doubt the path you're on or the pain that comes with it. Because the promise is that 
in all of that pain, it will be you that benefits. This will be my year. I want you to say it that way to yourself. My, own that. This is my year. I am in my year. I am that I am that I am. In the Bible, God talks about himself in that. I am that I am when questioned as to who should I say is coming or talking to me. I am that I am. That I is powerful. I have a lesson coming up about handwriting that is done by a brilliant uh, author, Velma Rogers, and she has a course about your handwriting changing your life. And I'm going to teach about that, but the I is a very powerful lesson. And so what I want you to understand is that I am that I am is there for a reason. You are absolutely being led and you are guided. This will be your year. Speak that over yourself and speak it in first person. Speak it in present tense not just what's coming because you're living now and this is important to know so glad that i could share some energy with you guys on that download i love it when spirit comes in come back next time and join me and we will continue to evolve together